Now to central Washington. A situation on the Columbia River is rapidly unfolding with the damaged Wanapum Dam near Vantage. Teams of engineers are scrambling to figure out what's going wrong with part of the Wanapum spillway structure. Correspondent Anna King has this report. So the problem with Wanapum Dam is on a structure called the OG. That's a big piece of concrete that's anchored to the bottom of the river. It has a big curve on the top where the water flows over it. It's like a river speed bump. When the spillway gate is lifted, the water flows through from the upriver side of the dam to the downriver side of this OG. This is how dam operators let extra water through the dam that's not needed for power production. But the OG is cracked all the way across its upstream face underwater. The dam operators and engineers aren't sure how deep the crack goes back into the massive concrete hump, but that's what they're trying to figure out. Right now the main focus is is that particular area, but we are going to do a complete and thorough evaluation of the, the entire structure before we're through. That's Chuck Berry. He helps manage the dam for the Grant County Public Utility District. He says now that the crack appears to be stabilized, they can... Identify exactly how deep, how wide, how far, location of any, any cracking. We just don't know all of that at this time. Barry says there are three teams of engineers working on the dam. County engineers, a federal team, and an independent panel of experts from across the U.S. They don't have answers yet, and Barry wouldn't speculate on what could be. Still, what's troubling to experts on dams and concrete structures is the OG is not only cracked, it's slipped a little. Rob Shogren is the technical director at a French-owned concrete company called Lafarge International. If it's big and it's concrete in the West, there's a good chance Shogren's worked on it or knows about it. He says cracks in concrete dams aren't unusual, but... The two-inch uh, thick crack can be significant. It just depends on where it is in the structure and uh, how deep it goes and what, what caused it. And what's caused the mighty crack in the Wanapum Dam is the big question. John Ostras is a disaster expert. He's actually a national guru on disasters. You might have heard of a couple of his past projects, Hurricane Katrina and the Oklahoma City bombing. He doesn't like the sound of what's happening at Wanapum. We've certainly over history seen some fairly spectacular failures of dams. You know, there's an enormous amount of, of uh, energy stored in the, in the water behind a dam. What troubles Ostras is that the dam failed with no clear cause, what disaster experts call a sunny day scenario. But when things just fail in, in the normal uh, course of events under loads and forces that we thought um, were within the safe uh, region, then we have to be much more aggressive, much more uh, uh, thorough uh, in, in our inspection uh, to make sure that we, we fully understand the, 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 the total picture. Osteris says a good move right now would be to reduce the water between Wanapum Dam and the next dam downriver, Priest Rapids. That would create a space between the two dams for the extra water if Wanapum was to fail. I asked Grant County's Chuck Berry if that was happening. He didn't answer the question, but he argues that even if part of the dam was to fail... It's not right that it will create a tidal wave downstream. That's, uh, that is not a situation or scenario that would occur at all. And he believes if the OG topples, the rest of the dam should remain in place. But here's the thing. When I asked about the contingency plan for what happens if the dam does bust, county officials say they have drills and plans, but they aren't sharing a lot of specifics. They're certainly not sharing them with Steve Allen. He's a major employer in the area and lives about three miles downstream from the dam. His farmhouse overlooks the Columbia River, and his 100-acre apple and cherry orchard rolls out below. His eyes betray his worry over the dam. If it broke, it actually came apart, uh, and a lot of water came down through here, then my orchard would be severely affected. It's only maybe 10 or 15 feet above the water level, and 
so if it if a huge amount of water came into here it would affect that it would wipe out my orchard probably back at ground zero the wanapum dam looks like it has on any normal day there are a few orange traffic cones and signs but that's it confidential sources within the federal government tell me that the last government review of the dam's overall safety found no significant findings. But the coming months could get complicated for dam engineers' band-aid efforts. Right now, the mighty Columbia River is at its low winter levels. But soon, spring snowmelt will swell the downstream river flows, and sensitive salmon runs will be making their way upstream. Downstream of the Wanapum Dam, I'm Anna King in Richland.